Are you all packed up yet? I'll be making my debut as a model soon. Once the big money starts rolling in, I will need a family. Lily, my daughter-in-law, is an aspiring model. Acting like she's already a star. She's been causing trouble for me and the rest of the family. Taunting me relentlessly with comments like that. After one too many remarks, I finally reached my breaking point. I decided to move out. I'm leaving today. With those cold words, I packed my belongings and really left the house. As I did so, I vowed to make her regret her actions. My name is Amelia. I am a 60-year-old homemaker. My son, Brian, 33, married a kind woman named Lily. Lily is currently a stay-at-home mom. But during her college years, she was a part-time model and is quite beautiful. Brian and Lily live in an apartment separate from my husband and me. It seems like they're enjoying their married life. Until two years ago, I used to work part-time, but I had to quit because of a back injury. I've always had a weak back, so I knew it was only a matter of time. My husband, Oliver, reassured me, saying, We can live comfortably on my salary, so there's no need for you to push yourself. So I decided to focus on our household chores. I am deeply grateful for my kind husband. One day, he fell ill and had to be hospitalized. Fortunately, he was discharged after about two weeks, but we were anxious about our future life. We're getting old, and we'll probably get sick or injured more often. There will be a limit to living on our own. I agreed with my husband's opinion. It's too early to go to a facility. I wonder if we could live with our son and his wife. I proposed this and called our son. I told him it wasn't necessary to live together immediately, but my son replied, Wait a moment. I'll talk to Lily. And he hung up, then called me back ten minutes later. Lily said we could live together right away. I think that's a good idea. If something happens to you or dad, Lily and I can handle it immediately. Upon hearing these words, my husband and I gratefully decided to live together with them. Since my son and his wife were living in an apartment, they moved to the house where my husband and I lived. We started living together with the intention of getting along well with the four of us. But this was the beginning of a tragedy. A month after we started living together, a large cardboard parcel was delivered to the house. It was Lily's. This is my diet machine. I ordered it online because I wanted to take care of my health. Can you move this to my room? I was confused. If I carry such a heavy thing, I'm likely to hurt my back again. Besides, Lily should know that I have a bad back. I can't carry this because of my weak back. Could you ask my son or my husband? I'm sorry. Then Lily clicked her tongue. You really can't do anything, can you? You use your bad back as an excuse and make me do all the housework. Until now, Lily had never said anything so terrible. She had been considerate of me. We had decided to share the housework. I am in charge of all the cooking, so it's not like I'm doing nothing. Lily, what's wrong? 
Why are you being so mean? As I was feeling sad about the sudden event, Lily said, I've always hated you. You're always so serious and annoying, and I feel suffocated when I'm with you. I'm tired of pretending to be nice. And showered me with harsh words. I couldn't believe she felt this way. With a huff, Lily walked away, leaving me standing in shock. I was thinking of consulting my husband and son, but in the end, I decided not to. I don't want to worry them too much, so I decided to try to repair the relationship on my own. But even after a week, Lily's attitude didn't improve. She would verbally abuse me when we were alone and hurt me. While I was considering confiding in my husband and son, Lily suddenly made an announcement at dinner. Actually, I'm thinking of becoming a model again. So, starting tomorrow, I will be more mindful to eat clean for my health and beauty. Please cooperate with me, everyone. My husband, son, and I were puzzled. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? When my son asked, Lily began to speak with a dreamy look on her face. After graduating from university, I worked as a company employee and now I'm a housewife, right? But I actually wanted to work as a model. My parents were strongly opposed to it saying it's not such a sweet world, so I reluctantly got a job. I thought this life was acceptable, however, every time I see celebrities of my age, my dream of becoming a model grows and I can't stop it. I just want to give it a shot. According to Lily, it seems you can be a model even in your 30s. We allowed her to do so if she really wanted to. However, from the next day, Lily began to complain about the food I cooked. She would come into the kitchen and complain. What? Today's dinner is hamburger? Please fix something more healthy with vegetables in them. But they're salad and vegetable soup. So... I think our dinner is well balanced, and it's not good for your body to only eat vegetables. Even when I said this, Lily wouldn't listen. On top of that, she even started telling my husband and son not to eat high-calorie snacks. It's hard to go on a diet when someone's eating sweets in front of you. Please cooperate for the sake of my future as a model. That was her argument. Moreover, under the pretext of caring for her beauty, she started buying extremely expensive cosmetics and supplements. She began going out frequently, saying she was going to the gym, and so she stopped doing housework properly. I'm going to be a supermodel someday. I'm different from commoners like you. She kept making such pretentious statements, troubling not only me, but also my husband and son. Lily was spending so much that it was straining our finances. So the three of us even held a family meeting to plan some countermeasures. Various discussions took place there, and we decided on something. About a week after the family meeting, without any concern for our worries, Lily continued to behave as she pleased. On a weekday afternoon when my husband and son were at work, I returned from shopping to find an unusual situation. The $2,000 I had saved in my drawer were gone. When I confronted Lily... She said with a smile, devoid of any guilt, I used it to join a modeling agency. According to Lily, 
She applied for an audition at a modeling agency and was highly praised by a man claiming to be the president. He highly praised my beauty and assured me that I would definitely become a star. So, he said I needed $5,000 for special lessons. I used your money, Amelia. You were just going to use it for your retirement funds anyway, right? I paid the rest from my savings since it wasn't enough. I was furious with Lily's nonchalance. The truth is, I wasn't saving that money for myself. But she didn't know that. It's just too terrible to use someone else's money without permission. Lily continued to rudely dismiss my concerns. If you're unhappy, you can leave. I can't get any more money from you, Amelia. You're an ATM to me, and I have no more use for you. ATM. Lily did indeed say that. So you've been thinking of me like that? Yes. Please start prepping to move out. Even after that, Lily kept nagging, saying, Have you finished preparing to move out? I'm about to make my debut as a model soon. I don't need a family because I'm going to be making a lot of money. I couldn't stand listening to it any longer, so I decided to leave for a while. I'll leave today, I coldly stated, then packed my things and left the house. As I left, I resolved to make her regret this. I checked into a cheap business hotel for the night. In the evening, when their work would have wound down, I phoned my husband and son and told them everything that had happened that day. Both were speechless at Lily's audacity, and they agreed to punish her. My son told me a shocking truth, and I asked my husband to inform Lily about it. I have to work overtime today, but I'll tell her as soon as I get home. I'll make sure she apologizes to you. My husband promised. I had all the information I needed to get back at her. Now, all I had to do was get on my plan. The next morning, I received a call on my phone. It was from Lily. I'm sorry. I've been terrible all this time. I also apologize for the money from the drawer. She kept repeating, so she must have learned the truth about the money. I decided it would be better to have a face-to-face -face conversation, so I went home. When I returned, Lily had a swollen, tear-streaked face. I'm so sorry, Amelia, when I heard that the money in the drawer was for me. Yes. That money was for my son and his wife. They don't have any children yet, but they have talked about wanting to have them someday. Once upon a time, when the thought of having children came about, I had been saving a little at a time for their upbringing. Even if we didn't have children, I wanted this money to help support my son and his wife. I had intended to talk about it with my son and his wife one day, but Lily used it without knowing my intentions. Lily, I thought of you as a part of our family, because you're important to us. I didn't want you to struggle financially, and that's why I saved. But I must say, my affection for you has long since cooled. I said, glaring at Lily. Her many problematic behaviors had trampled over my affection for her. At a family meeting, I reported all the verbal abuses she made towards us. And yesterday, after my husband came home from work, 
He explained to Lily how the money had been intended to be used. Since it was already late, he told her to apologize first thing in the morning. Lily, regretting her actions, apologized numerous times. But I was not in a mood to forgive. Her wrongdoings didn't stop there. Brian, have you seen the results of the investigation? I asked my son. He shook his head. Not yet. I was thinking we would confront her all at once when you got home. Then my son brought out some photographs from his room and showed them to Lily. Hey, look at this. What the hell is this? He demanded. The photographs showed Lily clinging to a dashing man. Lily's face instantly turned pale. That's not it. He's the president of the modeling agency I just joined. There's nothing suspicious about our relationship. She denied desperately. But it clearly seemed like an affair. Ever since you started going out frequently, we thought something was off. We decided to hire a detective when we held a family meeting. We can't live with a woman who treats my mother so poorly and cheats on me. I'm going to divorce you. We're also going to ask for damages through a lawyer. If you have a problem with that, we're willing to take it to court. Lily, bombarded with my son's harsh words, slumped in defeat. Even my usually calm husband was furious and scolded Lily. My wife and Brian, they loved you seriously as a part of our family. And yet... You frivolously stole my wife's money and even cheated on my son. I can't fathom what you were thinking. I can't think of you as a part of this family anymore. I was also filled with anger towards Lily. To think that you would hurt, not just me, but my son as well. I've tolerated your terrible behaviors till now, but this is the end. You're definitely going to pay for this. My son handed her the divorce papers to fill out. I'll submit this to the city office. We're now complete strangers. Don't ever come asking for help. He declared. I'm sorry. The president was genuinely supporting my dream, and I was so happy. But when I become a model... I'll earn money and be able to pay the damages. Lily believed she could still become a model. There was one more thing I had to tell her. That president of the agency you've been getting along with. He's likely a scammer. I revealed. What? Lily widened her eyes in shock. That's a lie. He promised me he'd debut me and make me successful. She refused to believe. To Lily, who was still dreaming, my son showed her a piece of paper. We asked the detective to investigate your affairs as well. It turns out this man has committed similar fraud in the past and has a criminal record. He informed her. Lily couldn't believe it and took out her smartphone. That can't be. I have his number. I'll... I'll call him right now, she asserted, but no matter how many times she tried, the call didn't go through. Lily then brought out a business card she said was given by the president and showed us the address of the agency. Let's go here right now. We can prove he's not a fraud if we go there, she suggested. When my son took the business card and checked the address on his phone, There's a factory at this address. There's no modeling agency there. On my son's phone screen, a factory was indeed shown. Lily double-checked it with the business card in her hand numerous times, but she eventually began to shed large tears. So, I, 
I was deceived? What about my dreams? That man said I was one in a thousand. If, if everyone knew, why didn't you tell me? At Lily's outburst, my son wore a dumbfounded expression. We received the investigation results after work yesterday. We wanted to discuss it with you when I got home, but you had already given him the money. Your lover has probably already fled somewhere, so the money might not come back. After all, it's not so easy to make a modeling debut, right? You're mature enough not to fall for such scams. Don't blame us when you're the one at fault. I decided to add my two cents as well. It's good to have a dream, but you neglected your family because of it. Isn't that why a scammer approached you? Use this as a lesson to lead an honest life. Hearing this, Lily finally broke down in tears. I shouldn't have chased such a dream. <laughs> it's all over now. Lily distorted her beautiful face and cried out loud without any regard for appearances. Seeing her in pain, I felt a sense of relief. That day, Lily had to leave our home. The three of us unanimously wanted her to leave as soon as possible. Just under three months, our days as a family of four had come to an end. She must not have imagined that the tables would turn when she drove me out. Serves her right. After that, Lily returned to her parents' house. But when they heard about the situation, they were furious, and Lily was disowned. I heard about this from Lily's father, Daniel, who informed me over the phone. I'm truly sorry for what my daughter did. I assure you, we won't provide any assistance to such a girl. It seems like Lily has no choice but to live alone from now on. Because she was blinded by her dreams, she has now fallen into a life of hardship. It's a fitting end for her. Two months later, the scammer who deceived Lily was arrested. According to the news, he had deceived several young women using the same tactics and is headed to prison. He confessed to having spent all the swindled money, so it's unlikely that Lily would get her money back. It was a costly lesson. But maybe Lily will now live more responsibly. Lily managed to get a job at a private company, but having been a housewife for so long, she seems to be struggling a lot. Whether it's because of the lawyer's claim or not, Lily properly paid the compensation. I also had her return the $2,000 that she stole from me. She split her assets with my son, but with large expenses piling up, she fell into debt and seems to be in a serious financial straits. Perhaps due to the stress, she's completely lost her boasted beauty. She developed a lot more wrinkles and age spots and looks much older than her actual age. From here on, Everything is what my son heard from acquaintances. I don't know if all of it is true, but she's likely living a difficult life. I hope she suffers as much as possible. The ones left behind, my husband and son and I, began living as a family of three. We haven't moved and still live in a single family home. My son and husband help with the housework on their days off, which is a big help. The other day, we had a fun time doing a barbecue in the garden for the first time in a long while. We're also planning to go on a hot spring trip 
during the next long holiday. Everyone got hurt because of Lily, but we have managed to recover. My son said he's had enough of marriage, so I don't think our family will be growing anytime soon. For now, I want us to live a relaxed life as a family of three. Nonetheless, through this incident, I learned the difficulty of seeing a person's true nature. They say it's important to see what's inside a person, and I couldn't agree more. Also, I've decided to be wary of sweet talk and live my life earnestly.